What's up guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, consider subscribing. My name is Malik. Today, as you can see by the thumbnail and the title of the video, we are picking up a car. It's my car um, that has never been introduced on this channel. But if you guys know me, I know some of my followers or subscribers are actually personal friends. So this will be something you guys seen um, right out of high school, I guess. Um, and she's still, still kicking, still might have some life in her potentially. We gotta get some things fixed, but yeah, we are meeting the tow guy in the next, not the next town over, but in a few towns over to pick up the car. It just got shipped from Louisville, Kentucky, which is where it was at, at my brother's property, um, which thankful to him that he even had space to let me do that. And, no tenants at the right or no tenants on one side at this moment so it didn't have any kind of obstruction to his pay pay you understand but anyway so we are on the way to get that we're going to deliver receive delivery from one tow truck call another tow truck to bring it back to the hometown to a mechanic that we know um to check out and to see if we can fix the vehicle and save it from its demise but anyway, I'm on the road right now. We are almost there. We're like 10 minutes away from the location. 10 or 15 minutes away from the location. The dude said he was like 20 minutes. And it's coming from the opposite direction of which way I'm going right now. I'm going to film most of it uh, from here to, or from there. I'm pretty much going to film the drop off. I need to really get my talking down on these videos. Stop talking so much. But I feel like I'm trying to give you guys information. Um, but anyway, yeah, so we're gonna receive the car and then um, call another tow truck to bring it the rest of the way. We're almost there, um, get off here and I'll get back with you guys once the tow truck is arriving at the said location, um, which hopefully he doesn't get there before me. So yeah, we'll see. All right guys, we just got this dropped off. This is the car that you guys have not seen on this channel just yet, but it's in bad condition. My boy Joe got us right. Yeah, Joe. All right, Joe with Mosby's in Louisville, Kentucky. Yeah. You got some social media? I ain't got no social media. <laughs> yeah, he, he right, he right. But you might catch me on YouTube one of these days. Okay, bet, bet. So, all right, we got this delivered. I'm going to let him get going, but I just wanted to show you guys real quick, and we about to get it shipped to <laughs> right now, so it's going to be a long process, guys. And I'll get back with you. All right, guys. He dipping out now. He cool as hell, too. Let me see. All right, bro. You take it easy now. All right, guys. So we're gonna see what we can get happening on this. I gotta let them know that it's gonna be here just for a little bit. And I'll get back with you guys here in just a second. All right, guys, you guys saw that. That went pretty good. The dude was pretty fucking funny. He actually is interested in doing YouTube and TikToks. Cause I don't know if you guys noticed, there's people who do like uh, repos and stuff like that that are doing pretty good on social media. And he was like, oh, I might need you to edit. He's like, I'm gonna hit you up. I'm like, keep my number locked in. I'll do it for you. But um, he was pretty fucking chill. I'm so happy about that. Anyway, guys, now we're waiting on the second truck to come. Um, They're gonna be about 45 minutes, which I need to go get my mom some food, wings or whatever. So I'm gonna go get her some chicken wings and I guess hang out here for a little bit. I could do some more editing. Actually, no, I can't. I finished that video already. And I, yeah, whatever. I can't really do too much. There's not much to do over here in this town. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to wait on that tow truck to take it to the mechanic in my hometown. And hopefully they're not taking too long. She said 30 to 45 minutes. So what you guys don't know is that this car actually... Okay, I can't go into too much detail right now, but I will explain that I had AAA pretty much bring the car from Louisville to here. This spot right here is within the mileage because we paid for the top AAA plan, which gives you one tow of 200 miles within. Um, within 200 miles is free. Of course, you pay for the membership or whatever, but that from louisville to even here would have been maybe like fifteen hundred dollars maybe actually let me do the math because what is it like seven dollars a mile so i think it's like 200 and let's just do 200 so yeah 1400 bucks just 200 miles which i know 
if we would have went all the way, it would have been like maybe 15, 1600. But anyway, about $1,400 just to ship it, which is fine if I was in position to do that. I'm not there no more. I have taken a pay cut. I've taken a lot of cuts where that price is not feasible. And I probably still wouldn't have done it for that car. This car that I'm in, maybe so. But I'm not in a position to be shipping cars like that. Not right now. Um, just being bluntly honest with y'all. Y'all gonna see me at my lowest. Y'all gonna see me at my highest. So right now I'm not at my lowest. But I'm not where as high as I was at one point. Got the knowledge from then. But things have changed. Uh, for the better though. Gotta help out where I need to help out. Where my, where my um, time is due. You gotta do what you gotta do for family and yourself. So... But anyway, so yeah, the AAA brought it from Louisville to here. That was um, within the 200 mile radius. And then my regular insurance is going to take it from here to my hometown. So yeah, um, that was the best way to do it without having to pay a little extra. Because um, if I had it all towed all the way, it would have been like an extra 70 something dollars. Which granted, $70 compared to 1400s, that's nothing. And $75 could have easily been paid. But in a sense, I have two companies that are towing or have towing coverage why would i pay anything like it's just stupid so yeah drop it off here i might spend a little bit of my time sitting here but at the same time like my other insurance is going to come through and just pick it up for free and drop it off yeah i will go that route 10 times like i i don't know i'm always willing to save a buck even if i was making a million a month right now i actually i don't know if i was making a million a month right now i probably would have just got that car fixed in louisville and just drove it back or maybe i wouldn't even have that car <laughs> but anyway guys we're gonna be waiting a little bit so i might take you guys into popeyes or kfc i'm not sure which one she wants me to go into but one of those places to get her some chicken and then we'll be on the way back home and we'll just have to go from there i'll get back with you guys here in just a little bit done so we're gonna see how this goes um i might have to talk to nissan because they're gonna be doing something to it but we'll see what happens and everything so see this shit's bad right here I'm gonna end up getting that sprayed i guess you might be on youtube <laughs> okay yeah i got this pulled up right here oh appreciate it appreciate it bro <laughs> Is that good enough or? And I'll just have you sign this ticket. I got you, I got you. All right. All right guys, so it's back here. I don't know what's gonna happen. We gotta see if it's gonna get fixed or not. Um, probably gonna have to lock it up. Is it pretty easy to get in these doors if I lock it? Cause the battery's fucking dead. Like is it, is it still pretty easy to get in this door? Yeah. Like with it locked? Yeah. Okay. All right. Then I'm gonna walk yeah. this shit. And then if, I mean, if anything. Yeah. You're, you have a key to jump. This shit don't work for something. I don't know if they gave me the wrong key or some shit. Like. So this key fob doesn't hurt if you take that out. It. Yeah. The key lock. doesn't work, and I never ever used it when I got the car. So. Then I probably wouldn't lock it then. Damn. You need a, someone to come out and unlock it. Since oh, it's free, free under State Farm, so I'll just. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I'd lock it. Up. <laughs> I appreciate you. All right, so yeah, we're gonna lock that up. You know, I don't know, guys. We're gonna see if we can get this back running or not, but gonna have to see. I'm not too sure. Triple A was talking about like seventy dollars just to come here from out. I'm like fuck that shit, bro. Yeah, it's, they only cover like the first three miles, and you pay the. Yeah, we'll see them. Like it got shipped from um, Kentucky today, so they did like a two hundred mile. I guess it. This yeah. is over two hundred or something like that, but yeah. Actually, yeah, I'm trying to grow a channel right now, so <laughs> it's kind of hard, but it is what it is. Yeah. Uh, I'll just have you put your name there. Uh, appreciate you. You said sign the bottom too? Yep. All right, All right bro, I appreciate you. Hey, yeah, you have a good one now. Drive safe. Alright guys, 
Um, so I gotta call Nissan and to see what we can do about this and get it fixed. I really do miss this fucking car, um, just to be honest with you guys. Uh, this is the inside. It looks pretty much just like the other car. It's just dirty. This one has a lot of miles on it. Um, but you can see it's dirty because the fucking place that had it, you know, obviously didn't give a fuck and it kind of like went through my shit. But this is like, it's my baby. It's my fourth car, I think. Fourth car. Or maybe it was my third car. This is my third car. This is the car I have the longest, like over, I think over 10 years at this point, I had this car. So this one, it stayed with me for a little bit, but anyway guys, this is gonna be the end of this video um, because I gotta do some due diligence and talk to Nissan Corporate about getting this handled because um, they might be replacing the engine on this car. Uh, but now I have to see because I can't just leave this car here because he needs room, which makes sense, but he does own this whole block pretty much, but I gotta see what I can do to um, pretty much get this car fixed or if I'm gonna end up junking it. I'm not too sure on what I'm gonna end up doing, but I gotta figure all that out um, very, 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 very soon, so. Anyway, guys, um, uh, it was a lot of ripping and running today. You guys came with me along the ride. It might not even seem like that long. It might end up being a 10-minute video or less for you guys. But either way, this was a, a long-ass day. Was not expecting to do all this. Um, I'm going to have to at least get a car or get a battery for this car to even make it work half the time. Because it turns right on. It's just the battery is dead now and it just starts smoking. But... I gotta see what Nissan's gonna do for this car. Um, I'm gonna call them tonight. It was kinda hard to stay on top of that shit because the car was not here and it was taking so long to get something handled to where it can get shipped um, to my hometown. So now I just gotta see what I can do to get this um, up and running, um, whether it's gonna be out of pocket or it's gonna be through an extended warranty or it's gonna be through Nissan. So um, yeah, I don't know guys, but anyway, it's back here, so it's one less thing I gotta worry about. Um, I definitely have a spot to put it, whether it's at my mom's or I got a cousin that owns some acres that she said it's fine to put it on the, um, the side of her garage or in the backyard somewhere. Um, so we're gonna see what happens, and I think it's about to rain, so I'm gonna go ahead and get about this car, I think. But anyway, guys, um, yeah, so. Thanks for tuning in. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think I should do with this car. Should I keep it? Should I junk it? Um, should I try to sell it to somebody who can have the funds to replace the engine? But as you can see, besides the trash being everywhere from people going through it or whatever, still a nice car. I mean, this is like the most defect on the inside. But other than that, the leather's fine. The sunroof still works when the, back, the power is actually on in the car. But other than that, guys, yeah i don't know what to do we're gonna try to figure it out though so thanks for watching comment like and subscribe and like i always say stay positive and keep moving forward and i'll catch you guys in the next video